so welcome back to tutorial race and in this video you are learning ajax so in this video we are going to discuss about and actually we are are working on the practical example of whatever you have learned so far so html http request uh, let's see this in the earlier chapter you have already seen that the xml http request object is used to exchange data with the server so communicating with the server there are two main methods to send a request to the server we use open and send methods of the xml http request object so it is like this x http dot open get the method this way the method name and then this is the file name and whether it is synchronous whether it will be cacheable or not so we provide here true or false and then hex http dot send the data is ultimately sent so don't worry if you're not unable to understand this one so i will show you practically now let's see this one we will also write this one in text editor and run and we'll show that how this works so this is html code you might be knowing this and then dib result here the result will be displayed and then this is the button so this is the function which we are going to define here below So how will it work this one this function is called when we click on the button and then as mentioned before that an object of this hexamal HTTP request method is created here this one okay and then using this one we write here on ready state change and then function if this dot ready state equal equals to 4 if you remember in the previous video I have discussed about this ready state equal equals to 4 that means it is complete and then the status is 200 that means okay in that case document dot get element by ID then result inner HTML and then response this dot response dot text so this response dot text is received from the server and ultimately whatever it comes this one come through this get method and actual data is where here so this data and this is sent now this data is displayed here in this div so let me show you the practically i open this text editor sublime text and just pasted this code and now let me save here so this one is hello.html okay there is something wrong here first of all this div will be closed here and then this one okay there is something wrong here in character actually we double quote since I okay and here also in double quote here we need to replace this double quote also And here too. So I think now it's fine. All right. So now let's open this one in browser. But before that, we need to create this page load data dot txt now let's create another file and just i'm writing here 
hello world save it what's the name its name is loaddata.txt dot txt so this data will be displayed here after clicking this button let's go to the browser and then insert this file to repress the name is hello dot html so this is our file so this is the button if you click here this one then there is also something wrong here all right so refresh it no not this one this is the one this is the one so if i click this one change content then you can see the data is displaying here without page refresh so this is very simple example what happened when the page loads okay it is displaying here this one but when we click on this change content then the data comes from another page that means suppose that one is from server this txt file which is this txt file is say or suppose that this is in the server so so these are two separate page so this data is coming without page refresh you can see if you click here then this data is coming from other page without page refresh so now let's get back to the code and understand that how this works all right so this div actually this is where the actual data is loaded so from here it detects from here the data comes here and getting this id you can see the id is same result and result so this result it is displayed here and this is the button where this function is displayed you can give any name to this function when we click here so this is the functionality of javascript which you have already seen in previous few videos so using this is the function of javascript so method actually so when we click then this function is called so where this function is now defined here inside this function we have created an object of this HTML HTTP request so the object name the variable name is this one and using this HTML this HTTP request on ready state change then inside that function and then if this ready state change is for that means is complete and status equal equal to 200 that means uh, it's okay it's fine in that case what happened we are in that case what happened this data is, re re is returned and then when this data is returned as response dot text from server or from other page then this is a simple HTML code using this inner HTML we assign the code here in this div and ultimately it is displayed here and here also there are two methods the first one is open so using this this data is fetched the data is fetched from here and ultimately the data is sent and then sent data is displayed here as a response dot text so hope you understand that how this works now i am going to show you one more example in this the user will type something and it will display in user interface so now let's save it then i'll also explain later this is course.html
right now let's run this in browser first course dot html right if i type here ajax then the result should automatically display here so there is something wrong let me check all right because we have not created this file so far so let's create this one coach list dot php what will happen here php start and then and then here echo dollar underscore gate and then q so what is this q this one this query string you can give any name here so we are passing the user type data as in query string checks so now we need to display this one semicolon and then echo now refresh it now you can see the data is displaying here so this data so what happens actually this one is going to so how does it work when you type this one ajax so in actual it passes the data so how it pass let me show you press right click this and inspect element and then go to network go to network and then let's type here ajax or whatever ajax you can see that data is passing here as query string to this php file so actually the data is passing hiddenly the data whatever we are typing it is passing hiddenly to this one so if you know php then you must be understanding that this is query string and it is passing as query string data isn't it now if you want to page this data into php file then simply write this dollar gate and then q the data is showing here so if you click on this then response you can see this ajax so what is this response all right so now get back to this so how this works let's understand let me explain you first when you type into the text text box that means okay let's do this way to understand it better okay so when you type when you type here so that means this one this is the text box okay so when we type this then the value of this this ajax value each here all right then so this is a simple function displayed result now this function is here right so this data is passed as a parameter here as a str okay then here we check if str length equal equals to zero that means if user has not typed anything in that case it will display nothing else once again we are creating here object of this HTML HTTP then already state change and then everything is fine and okay in that case this response dot text is received so what is this response actually this one this response you can see this response actually is this one all right and then catching the div this data is assigned into this div and ultimately this div data is loaded here this one 
So hope you understand. It is very easy. And all this data, the data, whatever we type here, is passed actually hiddenly here as a query string. And then we catch the data here in this PHP file. So this is very basic example. In the next video, I will show you that when it will I will make you uh, for you you know a live search so whenever user will type here it will fetch from database and it will display the result here so stay connected see you in the next video bye bye